Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It is Katie from Without a Crystal Ball, and I am dealing with some bad lighting here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I am realizing you guys were like, I've had a lot of comments about in the past few weeks about what's going on with Amber. Where is she? Where is Andrew? What's going on with James? What's going on in the OG world? And questions about, can you even talk about her, Katie? Is that even okay? Yes, there was never any issue that it, me talking about her, just so you know. But since her madness has sort of died down on Instagram, she has not posted a thing on Instagram since November 17th, if you can believe it. November 17th is the last time she posted a thing on Instagram. She posted a photo celebrating the birthday of her daughter, Leah, who turned 11 years old. And Andrew, for the most part, has also been pretty quiet on social media as well, as they are both seemingly abiding by their uh, court orders not to talk about one another, not to talk about uh, James, not to do really anything. So um, I started thinking about how she had filed a motion in court um, requesting the court hold Andrew in contempt of court for missing parenting time with her son James. At the time the court responded and Andrew actually filed a motion in the end of November and it appears that they will actually be meeting up in court on the 17th, on the 18th of this month to find out whether or not a judge is going to hold Andrew in contempt. Now he did miss a couple days uh, Apparently back in October when everything got sorted out, Amber did miss a couple days of parenting time due to a technical glitch, according to a source where he was unable to actually get into the parenting app and schedule the time with Amber. Since then, it apparently has been smooth sailing as neither one of them has posted a thing about it and Andrew or Amber has not made any accusations lot, like publicly about not seeing her son James. So. I wanted to catch up and see what was going on with Andrew and James, so I reached out to a family source who had helped me with my previous stories to find out what's been going on. And according to the source, Andrew and James are doing really well, like super good. Um, apparently, the two of them were actually able to travel back to California for Thanksgiving, where James actually met some of his family for the first time in his life. He was able to meet his 98-year-old great-grandmother and spend time with his grandma and, and aunts. There is still no word on whether or not he will be able to move to California. That motion to change or to move was tabled as a part of their mediation agreement until their custody case moves forward through court. I was unable at this time to find a hearing date which would go through and determine whether or not he could move at this time. Their only next scheduled event is November, or I'm sorry, December 18th, and that relates to the contempt of court charges. Now, levied by Amber. Now, I have some photos. Oops, I didn't fix these for you. So they have been getting the, the house decorated for Christmas. This is their tree, which apparently had James wanting to put two flags on the top of the tree as the tree topper um, with the little guy on a rocking horse, which you cannot see. And there's the tree up close with that rocking horse. James cannot be shown on social media or by the media in any sort of way. And then Andrew actually shared this, which said, James grabbed two flags at checkout, so it went with, so I went with it. And he put those on the tree. Um, back in November, after shortly after everything sort of went down and sort of calmed down, Andrew shared, I would like to simply thank you to all of to all those who have given such tremendous support to James and I and the story shared and unconditional love given has not gone has not gone unnoticed. Truly appreciated. Thank you. 
And for uh, he also shared this, if you ever wronged, if you have ever wronged you and <clears throat> if I've ever wronged you in life, please step forward for I am forever sorry. No closed doors, no enemies. Amber, for her part, has not been updating on Instagram, but she has been sharing stuff on Snapchat and she is looking noticeably thinner in her photos. Um, here she is saying good night and sending love. And then she was actually, she shared a clip on Instagram, on a Snapchat about the recent passing of a rapper. Everybody pray for Juice World's family. And just keep, keep them in your prayers today. All right, so the rapper she's talking about actually passed away very uh, unexpectedly yesterday after suffering a seizure, um, apparently in relation to potential drug use, according to TMZ. However, at this time, no cause of death is official. Um, he was only, I believe, 21 years old. So she is um, focusing on rappers and their passings which whatever she needs to do to get through this time, as I looked through the court records, there appear to be no violations for her probation, which is nice. She's seemingly um, sticking to the requirements by the court. And then when I reached out to a family source related to um, how Am Andrew and James are doing, this is what I was told. Hold on one second. Okay. So James is apparently doing really well. He may or may not um, be able to travel for Christmas. They are hoping, according to the source, Andrew is hoping to go back to California where his family are, family is to celebrate Christmas with his family. He apparently is coming downstairs uh, every single day and he loves to see his Christmas tree. He is so excited about the holiday season. He is <laughs> learning how to text message and play on daddy's phone. And he has absolutely never been happier. He gets to enjoy Christmas for the first time um, because he's finally old enough to really understand what's going on and he's having a lot of fun with it. They were apparently scheduled to go to a parade to uh, see lights, Christmas lights, but they ended up getting rained out and they're hoping to attend that later this month. And over the Christmas holiday, as I said before, he or over the Thanksgiving holiday, he was able to see his 98-year-old great-grandmother for Thanksgiving, which was huge. So, um, and if you're wondering, he and James are still living in the home that he and Amber shared, which is in Indiana. Um, there is no known location for where Andrew, Amber is living at this time, but it appears for now things have sort of calmed down between the two of them, sort of those the wars and the waging between the two of them have ceased um, since her final Instagram outburst where she was yelling at pretty much everyone from Matt Byer to TMZ to basically every media outlet about their coverage of her related to the case. And she has really stuck by the idea that she's not going to go on Instagram and it appears on Snapchat she's behaving because I have not gotten a lot of messages from you guys that anything has been going on wrong. Um, and we'll have to see how everything plays out on the 18th when they meet in court. Now, moving forward, Teen Mom OG has been filming. I believe they are still filming, I'm not sure. When I reached out to the source, they did say that Andrew did film once for the show and apparently he was interviewed which will be included, but no additional filming of Andrew has been done thus far. So it seems as though Andrew's uh, voice will be given a, uh, I don't know, courtesy <laughs> on the next season of Teen Mom OG. Don't expect to see him or James at all. James will not be filming. Don't expect to see anything more than maybe a single interview with Andrew related to the show. It's not clear whether or not the interview will be a, on a, as a part of the season or if it'll be its own special. It's really not known at this time, but no additional communication between the two of them, according to my source, has taken place at this time. So Andrew, Amber is filming, Gary and Christina are filming. We don't really know anything beyond that. Teen Mom OG will probably start, I'm guessing, sometime in the spring. Teen Mom 2 just wrapped up. The actual final episode of the reunion will air tonight. 
with a lot of social media buzz going on between a lot of the castmates and their parents and their in-laws with different people yelling and screaming at other people, all in an effort to probably drum up interest and uh, peak people's, I don't even know what, watch the, watch, to watch the reunion tomorrow night, I'm not sure. But um, the teen mom, young and pregnant cast, a few of those members have been very busy calling people out in all different places and calling out lots of people on Twitter and Instagram. So with that being said, the final episode will air tomorrow night with the reunion where we will actually see the fallout of what happened with Ashley, Cyber Ashley Jones, Jade, Kayla, the big massive fight that took everyone by storm on Instagram. And then that will be put to bed. There's still no word on if that will be picked up. Ratings for Teen Mom, um, Young and Pregnant were not good this season at all. Um, the final episode that aired had 410,000 viewers, 410,000 viewers. Um, and I'm guessing they might get one more chance by the network for another season, but I can't see it continuing if the ratings stay as low as they are. So what are your thoughts? Are you happy to hear that James and Andrew are doing well? Are you happy to hear that they might be able to travel to California? Um, I'm kind of disappointed to hear that there's been nothing in terms of whether or not he can move. It seems as though a lot of the work that Andrew had been doing was related to the film industry and to reality shows. And without, with being stuck in Indianapolis, which isn't, let's say, a hub for reality television, um, it's hard to know how he would get any work um, that's within the trade that he is skilled in. So hopefully the courts will figure out something to do with that and we'll have to see. I'll keep you guys updated next week if anything is comes of it, if the court charges him with contempt or if it's dismissed. All right, you guys, keep me posted. If you hear anything, I'm always available in, in on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you have questions, if you have anything to say, put them in the comments below. And before you leave, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. All right, you guys, I'll be back in a little while. Bye.